Hello again at the next video on the eCOS 2 and its digital connections. In the previous video we took a look at how we could use the Arduino, which is this little microcomputer board over here, as an S88 detection board. The software for that is ready and it works. I was using this little switch panel over here to simulate sensors. But I promise to get back to you with a, a, a real sensor. That is an optical detector. Uh, let me see if that can be shown. That's this uh, detector. It's the TRCT 5000. And it sets you back uh, a big amount of 16 euro cents per piece. If you buy them uh, per 10, then they are not more expensive than that. What happens here is that there is one infrared emitter, LED, and there is an, uh, uh, a transistor receiving the reflected light. Light is going up and if you hold uh, something over here, the light is reflected and it gets back on the transistor. And you can pull with a pull-up or pull-down resistor, you can create an input to your Arduino. And uh, I've, I've built two of those. One is over here on this, this white um, breadboard. It's maybe difficult to see, uh, but if I go over it with, with this pen, then maybe it's possible to see that over here, the light of that uh, sensor on the ECOS lights up. And also, oh, I could not do that, of course. Uh, also over here, you see the the red light blinking on the Arduino board, that means that it is seeing a sensor right now. Yeah, so that sensor is working. And also I have built one over here in this, uh, this wooden block. And it should be uh, working if I run my train past it. Let's have a look over here at the ECOS. If it does see the train, then this little red light should blink. Yes, there it went, and now it's off again. So, that is also working. It detects a train on the go. Well, this wooden block, of course, this wooden block is not what I'm going to use in practice. I'm going to build the sensors underneath the, uh, the, the table and let them look up, so they look at the bottom of the train. And all that is needed, it, it is a sensor that does not work well with a black surface. All that is needed to, to have a little white sticker uh, underneath of your uh, rolling stock. I did find out that today that it is a little bit, uh, or not a little bit, it's quite sensitive to daylight or sunlight. Uh, so I have now the curtain closed here in the room and then it works. So these, these sensors are sensitive and that you can get false detections if you have too much light around. There is a workaround for that, that is to uh, modulate your uh, signal and the standard for that is 38 kilohertz and then you can get a 38 kilohertz detector but that becomes a little bit more expensive than you have to uh, and you have to build a, uh, a timer circuit for that, that's not difficult but the sensors are more expensive, they, they go around one euro then. But if you use those, then you uh, don't have this trouble of uh, the daylight interfering with your detections. Okay, that was what I would like to show today in this video. Thank you for watching and maybe see you back in the next video. Bye bye.